now. Today's starting pitcher, Bailey Ober. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you needed a man on fire, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Righty to the plate. Breaking ball inside. It's two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. That's in there. And a count. One and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's nope. inside. That's inside. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Bryce Harper to the plate. Next oh. offering upstairs. The pitch. That clips the corner. Okay. Two out, space is empty. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Down quickly, go the Phillies. The Twins coming up, no score. You're dialed into the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. And on the hill for the Phillies, Ranger Suarez. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Got him swinging, and there's one away. Now, most hitters handle mid-90s no problem these days, but when a pitcher is effective at mixing up his pitches, changing speeds, adding and subtracting velocity, you can see a pitch of that velocity just jump past a hitter's swing. One down, base is empty. And that's down it away. Caught him looking for the K. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. This is Willie Castro. On to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Twins retired in short order. Scoreless after one. Back in Minnesota. Second inning set to go. Down the third baseman, Alec Bohm. The 1-1. One, one. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. He just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. That was just the power two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And now it is JT Real Muto. Right with the swing there. One ball, two strikes.
the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. And that quickly two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Right. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. No score here in the second. on the ground to the right side. Santana oh. takes it to the bag, and the Phillies are set down in order. Three up, three down that time. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Here's a one-two. Two balls, two strikes. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. That one is gone. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit v low wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. One out, base is empty. So up next for Minnesota, Brooks Lee. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one-two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Here's a one-two. Gets under it and pops it up. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Batting seven, the designated hitter, Yair. And next is the designated hitter, Yair Camargo. Got him swinging. But the Twins strike first on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Target Field, this is Bryson Stott. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. 
And misses inside. Just off the inside edge. Weston Wilson waiting for a turn at the plate. Looking to get the tying run on base. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Throw on to Santana. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. And digging in for Philadelphia, Weston Wilson. And now one and two. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Bounced out to short. Castro sends it to first. Two up, two down. Batting up. The center fielder, Johan. And now for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That clips a corner. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. There Tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And that's outside. Two and one. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. Just missed. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Trey Turner waits on deck. Fouls one away and now three and two. Right now they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with down on strikes. Third out and that ends the frame. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left on base. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Twins one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Max Kepler at the plate. Kepler. Fly ball down the line. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting none. The third baseman. Diego Castillo, the next Castillo. twin up to him. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. Oh. Two gone after the strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Right. Just needs to let the ball travel right. a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Mark. Good pitch for the strikeout. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And he deals. Smoked on the ground a second. 
Stott over to first in time. Inning over. Twins are set down 1-2-3, but they're on top 1-0. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And it's set to lead off the fourth, Trey, Trey Turner. Turner. And the righty deals. And that one's a little bit low. Two and one. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. So Turner reaches base. And this is a guy with good speed. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. At the belt and fires. Yeah. That one catches the zone. And a count one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay. Called the string of the changeup. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook Alex. pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now it's Alec Bohm. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. With the tying run on at first, top half of inning number four. Turner runs. Up the middle. Throw on to Santana. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little yeah, bit, right. rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. JT. And up to the plate JT. is JT Real Muto. So the tying run is second. Nope. And the slider that. just misses. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. In there at the knees. And the count's full. Count of three and two. Out towards right center field. Buxton sprinting after it. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. On a second, but he's in there. Safe. And a run comes in to score. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Drive it into the opposite field gap. Got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Swings through that one out in front that time. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Righty delivers. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Man on second, two down. Pitch misses. Full count now. That's a really good take. Bryson stop. On deck for the Phils. The pitch. Popped up left side. He's under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the catcher, Ryan the Jeffers. Jeffers. And the pitch. Swing and a tapper. Throws the first in time. One out in the bottom of the fourth. 
Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Willie Castro, the next twin up to hit. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Out towards left center. Wilson sizes this one up. Calls it in to away. Now batting center fielder. Here's Byron Buxton. Buxton. Now this Buxton. guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And a ball and two strikes. Two and ball, another ball. Two strikes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Down go the Twins in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. Ready now for the fifth inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryson stop. The 1-1. One, one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Paul Sands warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Stama warming up as well. The why to kick the pitch. Leads it to Bender with a strikeout. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. Up next to Philadelphia, the left fielder, Justin Wilson. Here's the left fielder, Weston Wilson. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. <laughs> One down, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And that just misses. Johan Rojas next to bat for Philadelphia. Three balls, two strikes the count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. The one two. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Not a big fastball in the mound by today's standards, just low 90s. But when you can pitch backwards like that and sometimes save the fastball for later in the count, it just sort of explodes on hitters and gets right by him. That was the first fastball they bat, and clearly the timing just wasn't there for him. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That's ball two. And now two balls and a strike. Wilson leads off first with two down to the inning. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. 2-2. Two, two. Tried to check his swing. A field of third. And he went around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Philly strand one. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Back in target field. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Got the back going too soon at strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. A wind in the pitch. That misses. Three and two now. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Body caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. In the air, out towards right center. 
Castellanos sizing this one up squeezes it and there's one down up next to Minnesota the second baseman Brooks Lee the next twin up Lee. to him and a swing and a miss two ball two strikes Bases empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. That one is absolutely belted. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. To second. And that's a double. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Now, here is Yair Camargo. Come back into the mound. Throws the first in time. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now batting Max Kepler. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Two outs and one in scoring position. And another ball. The winning run on second base. Ah. Rocketed out towards right center. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. In comes the winning run, and the Twins walk it off. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.